Yeah. Today I look at the British rock group Cream, formed in London in 1966 as a power trio, in which each member was a virtuoso player. The band comprised bassist Jack Bruce, Eric Clapton on lead guitar, and Ginger Baker on drums. With poet Pete Brown, Jack Bruce was the main songwriter and handled most lead vocals, although Clapton and Baker both contributed in these areas. Schooled in rhythm and blues, playing in acts like Alexis Corner's Blues Incorporated, Manfred Mann, The Grand Bond Organisation, The Yardbirds and John Mayles Blues Breakers, the Cream Trio pioneered British rock music, developing the genres of blues rock, psychedelic rock and hard rock, and were a key act in the early rock album era. Together for just two years, they made ten singles and four original UK top ten LPs. Rolling Stone journalist Jan Wenner described Cream as the first supergroup where each of the members had achieved success elsewhere, either in a solo career or within another group. This was a popular concept in the late 60s, and following Cream were supergroups such as Crosby, Stills and Nash, Humble Pie and Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Indeed, after their breakup, some other supergroups comprised of Cream members such as Blind Faith with Clapton, Baker, Steve Winwood and others, Air Force with Ginger Baker and Graham Bond, Stevie Winwood and Denny Lane of the Moody Blues, and Derek and the Dominoes, which included Clapton, three from Delaney and Bonnie, and Dwayne Allman of the Allman Brothers. Cream reformed briefly twice, firstly for their 1993 Hall of Fame induction, and then in 2005 for a series of shows in London and New York. In 2006, the band were awarded a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. I hope you enjoy the video. Welcome once again and thanks for joining me. In today's video I'm going to take a look at the various later pressings and reissues of the debut LP from Cream. This blues heavy album was originally released in the UK in December 1966 as a 10-track LP on Reaction Records and distributed by Polydor Records which I've covered in a separate video and which gives a little more detail on the music and recording of the album. In this episode, I'm going to be concentrating on the many later and often confusing British stereo pressings of the LP, so let's get straight into it. Fresh Cream has been reissued many times in the UK, the first of these being a lavish new re-release in 1970 under an entirely new title of Full Cream, which may have been a clever attempt to sell a repackaged four-year-old record on the back of the well-publicised breakup of the band just over a year earlier. Indeed, there is no reference to Fresh Cream on the sleeve or the label. It was issued by Polydor as part of their low price 99 series, which also included budget LPs from their other contracted artists such as Buffalo Springfield and the Bee Gees. Polydor had form in this regard, having sold repackaged albums from two of their biggest acts, The Who and The Jimi Hendrix Experience, in another budget series titled Backtrack. Full Cream appeared on the traditional red Polydor label, with text in black and white under the catalogue number 2447-010. The label states made in England above a blank white bordered rectangle and the LP title Full Cream is shown. Although the track listing is the same as Fresh Cream featuring 10 selections, an edited cut of Spoonful was included here. The sleeve is a fully laminated non-flipback design printed and made in England by McNeil Press of London SE1 the rear cover displays the same photo as used on the front, but adds the track listing and other production credits in light blue. Following Full Cream, a further reissue appeared in 1974. This was packaged simply as Cream under the new catalogue number 2384-067. Again, it had an entirely new sleeve design, but unlike Full Cream, at least there were a couple of bonus tracks, adding wrapping paper, the group's debut single which was omitted from the original LP, plus the coffee song which had not previously been released in the UK. Helpfully a clear notice of this was supplied on the front cover. The Cream LP appeared on the traditional red Polydor label with text in black and white with a similar layout to full cream but with the new catalogue number. The label states made in England and the album title Cream is printed below the spindle hole. The sleeve is varnished or non-laminated and it is a non-flipback design. It was available as part of the Polydor Special Series or Polydor Standard Range as noted on the sleeve. 
To complicate matters, some of these records were paired with a version of the original sleeve, albeit with a bold new title design on the front. These sleeves stating Polydor International Standard, which may have been sold in the UK or exported to Europe. In 1983, the LP was reissued for the first time in the UK in its original sleeve with the Dollop of Cream logo using the same catalogue number as the 1974 LP Cream and including the two bonus tracks from that record. Again, this is on the red Polydor label stating Made in England, but the layout has changed. The blank rectangle has been replaced with three text boxes and the title Cream is now in bold above the spindle hole. The record sleeve is not laminated and the text on the rear cover is slightly reset from the 66 original to accommodate the two added tracks. A notice to this effect is also included. It was available as part of the mid-price series as identified in the top right corner. The 66 release date and the 83 year of reissue are printed near the foot. Simultaneously the album was made available on the black RSO label which stands for Robert Stigwood Organisation. Stigwood being the producer of this record. These labels display the same catalogue number as the 83 red label version, number 2384-067, but also adds the series number SPELP42. The sleeves are exactly the same. In 1985, the LP was again reissued, this time using the 83 red labels, and packaged with the 74 cream LP artwork. I hope you're keeping up. These sleeves are now banded at the top and have a green border. This is another budget version being part of Polydor's special price series. A high quality re-release appeared in 1997 within the acclaimed Simply Vinyl series under the catalogue number SVLP106. These are pressed on hefty 180 gram vinyl and revert to the original 1966 10 track listing and as such was the purest re-release to date. It has a traditional style of label with white text printed on red and states made in the EU around the rim. The sleeve design is like the original and some may be shrink wrapped with a gold simply vinyl label. The rear cover now displays barcode. A further quality reissue appeared in 2015 on a red Polydor label with the text printed in black and a rim text in white. Again this was pressed for the EU on heavy vinyl and now has the catalogue number 535484-2. This was part of the Back to Black vinyl series and included a free downloadable copy of the recording. None of these pressings are particularly scarce or valuable and the 70s and 80s copies may be acquired cheaply. The recent reissues may be a little more expensive and some stock copies may even be bought new. The 1997 Simply Vinyl version is the only one that's listed in the rare record price guide and is given a value of £15. And that brings to a close my brief look at the UK stereo repressings of the LP Fresh Cream. That's all for this time. I appreciate you joining me and I hope you enjoyed the content today. If you did like the video, please feel free to subscribe to the Rare Record Room channel to see similar episodes and to receive notifications for new uploads as they happen. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you next time. Until then, take care. Bye for now.